Honorable Chairperson of the Meghalaya Human Rights Commission. Justice uh, Gaipai was the Chief Justice of High Court of Tripura. He was the first judicial officer from the Bizo Gaipai community to be elevated to the position of Chief Justice of High Courts of India. Born in 1956, he passed his BA in 1976 criminal and civil side. He also worked in constitutional and service matters in the infall bench of the Guwahati High Court in 1990. In 1997, he shifted to Mizoram and was appointed Assistant Advocate General of Mizoram on the 12th of February, 1999. To highlight the common problems faced by the prisoners in every jail, it is embarrassing to note that Meghalaya does not even have a central jail till now. The common features of both the jails are congestion and overcrowdedness, lack of adequate infrastructures, shortage of jail officials, including jail doctors, so much so that these prisoners are living in a humanly condition. In Shillong District Jail, when we visited, we found that the barracks of the inmates are still housed in an Assam type of building, and that some 321 inmates including females who were accommodated there as against the sanction strength of 170, which means 100% more than its total capacity. Housing prisoners in a, some type of house is not advisable from the security point of view. We have already recommended to the government for allotment of 25 acres of land for construction of central jail at New Salon, at New Salon as proposed by the Inspector General of Prisons, Meghalaya. The offer of 10 acres by the government is too small. We have to think of the next 100 years. Due to shortage of land, if the government finds it difficult to allot the required size of land, we suggest sale of the existing jail premises, which could fetch considerable sum of money, considering its prime commercial location, and utilize the sale proceeds for the purchase of required land and for construction of the New Central Jail. Then, Jui District Jail. The, this prison was originally constructed for 130 inmates, but it is now accommodating 300 inmates in seven, seven wards, the biggest of which measures 38 feet in length and 15 feet in breadth. Moreover, there is only one toilet for each of the seven wards. Just imagine how these prisoners manage to survive such an ordeal every day. Due to the constraint of time, I will not be able to highlight the many other problems confronting these helpless prisoners, both in the trials as well as convicts. I will only refer to some of the recommendations, which incidentally would also give you a rough idea about the conditions of joy Early construction of additional building to remove excessive congestion and in the meantime to construct extra paka toilets and bathrooms to improve the drainage system to provide new water pipes to all the wards and repair the malfunctioning CCTV cameras to provide winter clothes including woolen blankets to the inmates before the onset of winter purchase of new ambulance provisional reading reading materials for the inmates volleyball and football for female inmates, and separate vocational center for learning carpentry and handicraft. I hope our recommendation will be implemented by the government without any delay.